What what kind of food do you like to eat here? Oh, barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> All the I, time? <laughs> yeah. I can't get enough of that. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Korean barbecue. Yeah, great. Yeah. Did it take you a while to get used to Korean food or what was that like? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I just jump right in. Jump like right it's, in. It's really good. Yeah, great. Uh, we, well, I, I eat at um, lunch um, cafe here, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and With the yeah. teachers, right? Yeah, teachers yeah. and students. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's really good. Every day is different. Yeah. But cool. there's always with rice, so cool, <laughs> if cool. You like rice. Yeah. Do the teachers always ask you whether or not you like the food? Yeah, at first, a lot of them ask. You know, how, how are you liking the food? Yeah. You know, like just asking about life in Korea and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So they're they're very friendly and. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then have you been to staff dinners as well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Some pretty rowdy staff dinners. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, three, three times. Three, three times. times so yeah. far. Yeah. We we'll actually have another one tomorrow. Oh, fun <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Our principal loves to drink. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so every time there's staff dinner, he you know calls me over. He's like. And you do a shot with him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shot of soju. Yeah. But he always give me like a big shot, like a double shot or something. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, you know, I you, just take it straight. <laughs> take it straight in one and then they go yeah. one shot and yeah. then it's like a big deal, right? Yeah. yeah. And then after that, I just go back to my table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just show respect kind of thing. Yeah. But if you don't like it, you can just say no, you know. Yeah, yeah. right, just right, right. Cider or something. Yeah. Would you say that... Um, by eating with your teachers at lunch and going to the staff dinners and participating and all that stuff, would you say that you've been able to strengthen your relationships with everybody on staff? Yes, I yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like just well, like any relationship, you spend more time yeah. together than you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I guess they they'll have more respect for you too. If, you know, like you eat their food and yeah, you know, try to talk and hang out and kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, earlier you were saying that um, uh, a few of the co-teachers don't always necessarily show up. Mm -hmm. um, and so your strategy for dealing with that has been just to uh, adapt and just teach without them? Or uh, how have you handled that? Actually, last, near the end of last semester, I was planning to talk to them and to get them to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I talk to them, I can get them to come. Mm -hmm. But just, you know, like, uh, it's like teaching by myself is fine. Like yeah. I, yeah. I now, right, like, I got used to it, somewhat used to it now. Because mm -hmm. at first, like I said earlier, they, they'll try to push your boundaries. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, the once, students, right? Yeah. 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 Once, once they know, know all the limit, mm -hmm. then, you know, I think you'll have more control over it. So right now, I, I feel like, you know, I have control of the class, so I yeah. don't really need them to be here. Yeah. And, like, sometimes it's a bit, you know, stressful if they're here, too. Yeah. It's like, you gotta teach a certain way and stuff like that, so, like, I like to be more free and... Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, you uh, came from a music background, right? Mm -hmm. With yeah. a, without, I mean, you did you, yeah. you did private music lessons, so uh, I guess this is a, a new experience for you, uh, being an actual teacher. How did you find that adjustment? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, the Tef the Tefl online course really helped. Yeah, like uh, that's great. Yeah, it um, gave me some experience or insight into you know teaching because I never had a any. Ex in teaching or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And also the first week of orientation mm -hmm. that we, we did yeah. when we first came over, it's um, it's very helpful too. Like again, it you know tells you about how um, school life is and you mm -hmm. know like trying to adapt to Korean culture and whatnot like that. Mm -hmm. So I think those two things really helped and and just um, experience, you know, just feel your way around <laughs> like that. If you never had a, any uh, teaching experience, like it's yeah, just experience and there's some useful uh, uh, website that, you know, you can go to and to learn from, read from, you know, just mm -hmm. through that. And over, over time, I, I kind of get, you know, more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, you were saying that you live in Bupyeong and then you, you uh, I guess, commute to your school or wh yeah. what's your setup? Yeah, so right now I'm, I'm living in Pupyong and there's no uh, subway station around this school, yeah. so I take a bus. Mm -hmm. It takes about 20 minutes to half an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and it's 
yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and do you get a travel allowance or not? Uh, no. No, yeah. But that's but, fine. Yeah, yeah, traveling is very cheap over here. Yeah. Like, yeah, you get like a tea, well, tea money card. And yeah. It's like, and you can use it like subway, bus, anything. You just scan and then, mm -hmm. and when you go in, then scan when you leave the bus or leave the subway station. Mm -hmm. And bus cost me like a thousand, thousand won. Yeah. So that's under a buck for a ride. Yeah. So, well, just a little under two dollars for every day for yeah, transportation. Yeah, which is really not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very cool. And uh, how is your social life? Making friends, just staying active, and all that stuff. Ah, uh, it's it's really good. Like mm -hmm. we're, I think we're fortunate to have a, a small um, orientation group. Mm -hmm. Like our group was twenty seven people, twenty eight. Mm -hmm. So everybody knew everybody kind of you know pretty well yeah and, and we develop a you know a little relationship during that uh, first week of orientation yeah and we kept in touch um yeah so like i, I still hang out with them and and i'm also uh, going to uh, the culture complex in bopion oh, okay that's yeah. where like language exchange mm -hmm. and i you know make friends with uh, korean koreans there mm -hmm. and other native uh, teachers outside of my group also go there too so talk to them and you know just I network through that way you know and also hang out with my co-teacher we <laughs> we actually party a couple of times <laughs> oh yeah really yeah, yeah we, uh, that's excellent yeah. male or female co-teacher uh, female oh okay yeah, great she's just a little bit uh, older but they say don't date your co-teacher <laughs> of course no no I, I <laughs> yeah. no yeah, just, no just yeah. hang out and you know like she like I, I introduced my my friends to her and she oh, you know cool. um, like uh, when she's got a vent and you know she tell tell me about it and she introduced her friends to me so yeah, that's, that's a good way to you know network too yeah yeah fantastic great what is the uh, overall level of English at your school it's very mixed um, you, you have your really you know high ones and ones that like no English at all yeah like, yeah. All in the same class sometimes. Yeah, all in the same class. So <laughs> it's, yeah. I think that's the number one difficulty to, to deal with. Because like, sometimes you uh, you make a lesson that would um, cater to all of them, right? And mm -hmm. that's hard to do, you know, like, how can you, you know, uh, make a lesson that for one person who doesn't understand English at all, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, you try to you know, just feel your way around and try to mix it up and try to get them involved as much as you can. Yeah. But yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Very mixed, big range too. Yeah, yeah. There's also something else that I want to ask you, and that is, um, what's it like being an Asian dude here in Korea? <laughs> okay, you don't stand out as much. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, especially with the other native teachers who is, you know, like uh, American, well, like white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll stand out, like, just walking down the street, they'll, you know, they'll really stand out. Yeah. But with me, like, if I walk down the street or something like that, it, they think I'm Korean. And some people just come up and start talking to Korean to me. So it's like, oh, I don't speak any. <laughs> you know, but at school, same thing, you know, like, mm -hmm. at first, like, they, uh, there's that little, I guess, celebrity effect. <laughs> but then afterwards, I think it warms out faster than uh, for non-Asian people, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. And there's no prejudice, you know. Yeah, I I hear some stories, like some people get, you know, uh, they just um, wasn't well treated or something like that. Well, just, I think that happens to um, anybody and it doesn't matter what the race are and whatnot, but yeah, being Asian is just okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't stand out. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, definitely. Um, all right. Perfect. And uh, any other closing comments that you want to make uh, that you think new teachers considering coming to Korea should know? Oh, uh, I think the number one thing that helps me most is you know keep an open mind. <laughs> like keep an open mind. Try just go with the flow. You know, like don't don't be sh uh, shy and fall back and like you know just open mind. Don't be afraid to try new things and uh, yeah, just. 
go with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the craziest thing you've done while you've been here? Whether it's something crazy you've eaten or did. Oh, eaten? I've I, I've tried like live octopus. You yeah. Know, like like sandakji. Yeah, they're still yeah. moving. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So try that. Um, was it good? I. Uh, it was a little bit disappointing. <laughs> I was expecting for something more, you know. But, but would you eat it again? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would. Yeah. But this time, you know, bigger pieces. There, there was like small pieces. <laughs> I want a big one. That's, you know, you want the big. whole moving thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, and then craziest thing that you've done. The craziest thing. <laughs> the done. most adventurous thing that you've ended up doing. I went to Japan by myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> and just, Amazing. And just met people through hostel and like, and we just go on random trips. <laughs> you know, like, and just pretty adventurous. Yeah, they, just, they just fall into place, you know. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks very much, Kong, for your time. Yeah. Thank right. you. Cheers.